and I cried a river deep enough to bury the size of her internal wounds. And if she were the Congo River, she would be contaminated with traces of toxic waste. You see, fat jokes have dived into her soul and surfaced to her search and have floated to her surface like blackheads seeping out of her pores. But she is far from poor because she works like a chemist as she pours a combination of facial cleansers into a bottle, hoping that one day she'd be the fresh new face of America's next top model. But Clarisil and Noxima are not enough to make her feel attractive. So she makes sure to, th to practice three easy steps in order to be proactive. And I guess you could say she's not your ordinary activist, because she settles for finding her revolution in double cheeseburgers, large fries, and apple pies. And over the years, the trans fat has transferred straight from her belly all over her thighs. And some men, they look at her. And they say she's way too much to handle because she is the product of supersize. But they never once stopped to realize that Fergie lied when she said that big girls don't cry. And I hope you know, I hope you know that this is everything to do with you. You, as in the outsiders, who never try to see insider. Try to understand why her heart is a bulimic heart that refuses to consume foods for thoughts of beauty or why she relates herself to the beast and never to the beauty, or why she flips through magazines, finding images of skinny bodies, only to nail pictures of her face to them, as if these models are the crosses on which she should crucify herself in order to sacrifice the pain of each and every girl just like her. And I stand, here I stand, with my feet on the ground, Looking up as she hovers up above me like a darkened rain cloud. And I want to reach my hand up to her and pull her down, back into reality. Place her in my gallery, where I will tell her that she is big, because she is a life-size portrait of what it takes to break the barriers of the box that beauty has been birthed in. And being big enough to break boxes will always allow her to blossom beyond the concrete walls, spray painted with images of who society wants her to be. But all she needs to be is what makes her feel most comfortable inside. And being big enough to break, and being big is not big enough to rule out the possibility of being beautiful. And for as long as I am entitled to freedom of speech, I will always look her in the eye and tell her, you are not what you eat, but you are a reflection of what you believe. And if people can't learn to love you for who you are, then you need to tell them to leave you be. Keep on walking with their hands filled with ignorant seeds, because all they want to do is plant a tree of negativity within you, leaving you with insecurities. But none of that happens. None of it matters. You see, with mine, over matter, what matters most is that she understands that your mind will always be more powerful than your body. So you better start believing that you are 